So the number one question of the day, how in the heck do I turn off all of those email notifications from Google Classroom? Super simple. Go to classroom.google.com forward slash S as in settings. Scroll down to the part that says notifications and turn off the emails toggle, right? Flip it off. You're never going to receive an email from Google Classroom again. Okay. So if that answered your question, that's all you want to know. Great. Give me a thumbs up before you leave. Otherwise, if you want to stick around and see what other settings we can adjust in those email communications for Google Classrooms, stick around and I'll talk a little bit more about it. All right. So let's jump into my Google Classroom right now. And the other way I can get into these settings is by clicking right up here in the top corner, those three lines there. And then as soon as I scroll down, I can click settings right here. And again, that's what I was talking about, that email notifications. Okay. So again, if I don't want to receive any, I can just turn them all off they're all gone. You'll never receive an email from Google Classroom again. However, if I want to go ahead and receive emails from students specifically, what I want to do is teach them how to message me privately through Google Classroom. Okay. So in this example, I've got my student Bart Simpson up and right here, normally when those students have that ability to privately comment, right? You can see Bart Simpson. I've messaged him once. Bart Simpson can message me back and he'll put my email address right there. So he'll say at Mr. Graftastic at email.com, whatever my email address is. And of course, in this private message, he told me to get bent man. Okay. So if he does this and he hits send, this is considered not only teacher abuse, and I'm appalled by your language, Bart, but it's also considered a comment that mentions you, right? So if you leave that comments that mention you on, that's where you'll get those notifications, all right? So quick fix in order to do that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, Eric. Uh, my students that are going to be privately messaging me probably aren't at that level where they can type in at in my email address yet. I understand. I'm sorry for that. I hope they get to that level. But if you're an intervention specialist and the only way you want to communicate to those kids through Google Classroom is by receiving those notifications, then you got to leave the messages on, right? You could teach them how to email you privately. You can use another third party application to do it. But within Google Classroom, that's your best case, right? How to turn those on and off. In addition, you also have the ability to turn off some other comments. Uh, or things, notifications like late submission of student work, resubmissions, invitations by co-teachers, scheduled things, other different notifications that are going to blast up your email there. You can turn those on and off. In addition, right down here, if I click on classes, I can even turn off the classes I don't want to be notified about, right? So maybe I co-teach a class and um, I don't want to be notified for that class. Uh, but I do teach my own class and I do want to be notified for that one, right? Super easy to go in and turn those on and off. All right. So I hope I've answered your in-depth question on Google Classroom notification. If you have more, go ahead and follow me on the Twitters at Mr. Griftastic. And I hope you have a Griftastic day. Thanks.